Today we're talking about the three uh, biggest reasons why people fail to meet their goals. Um, these are things that just keep people from being able to get to where they want to be and uh, really even keep people from starting a program uh, to begin with. So the first is uh, the fear of failure. Now some people uh, will look at a program and they might have something set up or whatever but they're just so scared of actually failing um, not hitting their goals, uh, whether it be short term or long term, that it just uh, paralyzes them really, and they don't even start the program to begin with. So before they even get started on day one, uh, they've really uh, shot themselves in the foot basically, and keep, they're just really not ready to start a program. They're just too uh, afraid of the failure. Now, second is a lack of understanding of the goal setting process and really a lack of knowledge. So a lot of people just don't know um, what they should be looking to achieve. So they might think, okay, I have 30 to 40 pounds to lose, but how long is that gonna take me to lose? And what is the type of short-term goals that I should be uh, trying to hit? And how do I uh, track my progress? How, how do I know that I'm on track and if I'm doing the right thing or if I'm doing the wrong thing? and just getting overwhelmed by all these thoughts and the inability to really know what to uh, strive for uh, just keeps them from doing the program again um, either again from the beginning or during their program they might just quit because they're they're just not sure that they're on the right track and the third is a lack of commitment and holding uh, themselves accountable so a lot of people have a program, it might be the best program in the world, but they just don't have the commitment, they don't have uh, the, the drive to stick on the pro stick to the program. Um, and it might even be like a one or two days out of the week thing where they're like, okay, well I've done so well for the last three or four days, let me just cheat, um, have you know 600 more calories today than uh, I was supposed to or something like that. In which case they're basically defeating the purpose of the last few days and a mindset that a lot of people have is that okay yeah I'm I'm cheating on my plan whatever but what's the worst that's happening you know I'm failing myself I'm not hurting anybody I'm not uh, you know the only person I have to blame is myself but that's also the only person I'm hurting is myself I'm not hurting anybody else um, but with my programs you're actually uh, being held accountable by myself so uh, you have a coach that's relying on you to stay on your program. I make sure that you uh, stick to that program. I hold you accountable and that you, you get that sense of feeling that not only do you, you, you really, more than uh, letting somebody else down, you're afraid to let your coach down. So yeah, you could eat that extra piece of cake or whatever that's going to put you over your, your calories for the day but you have a bigger fear of failing me and you're know, telling me because I'll have you you know let me know what you've been eating that day and you're more afraid to feel the backlash that I might have for you um, and really just disappoint me even though I mean if you have a slip up here and there it's not the end of the world but you just have that that fear of failing me so you definitely keep yourself more accountable that way and uh, it helps you stay on the program a lot better to have somebody uh, watching your back and uh, basically making sure that you stick to the program. So if this sounds like you, if you've had any of these issues or all three of them, uh, definitely message me and we can set up a call, see if you're a good candidate and uh, see what we can do um, and if it'd be a good good idea to work together. Um, and uh, let's, let's leave it at that and look for the next video to come. Thanks.